Hi, thanks for joining me again for my Monday morning Facebook Lives. Today we're talking about seeing yourself as the expert. And I wanted to start by defining what an expert is because I, I, I feel that uh, we just accept a lot of the words and we uh, don't actually know what the concrete understanding of the word is. So let's start with what is an expert. And I looked up what is an expert on uh, Google and it says uh, someone or a person who has comprehensive knowledge or skill around one uh, particular area. And um, I would say to add to that, it's also mm -hmm. that they have the experience to apply that skill. Hey, Lynn. Hi. Um, we assume that experts are um, the authority to answer our questions or inquiries, that they um, are right when they have that answer, and that the are that the authorities uh, who are experts agree on any one subject or uh, particular area. And uh, this is really not true, and it happens a lot. We see it a lot. We've seen it over the years when we're told that one glass of wine isn't good for us, and then it is good for us, and then it's not good for us. And we, you know, our experts are telling us something different all the time. And of course, media plays a, pl a part in that, in our understanding of what experts say. Um, experts may develop or prove ideas like science, scientists do. They may learn or teach concepts like professors and teachers do for us. Uh, they might experience or live their abilities like our athletes do. And uh, we see experts in a variety of different places all being taking um, uh, their expertise and their knowledge or their skill and applying it in some way. Uh, I wanted to give you an, ex an example of um, how expertise went really wrong for a very long period of time. Uh, you've probably seen or been taught, particularly if you're around my age, uh, you were taught in school that the tongue had mm -hmm. different areas on it for different tastes. You could taste sweetness on the end of your tongue and then salt and then sour and then at the back you had bitter. And this was the tongue map and it was uh, generally accepted as the where our taste buds were in our mouth and how we tasted things. Uh, the problem with this is it was not only um, incorrect, it was, it was known to be incorrect by the original person who created the information. Uh, it was translated from a German paper back in 1901 and the German philosopher who created this or who did the research around this had had determined that there were spots on the tongue that didn't have taste buds and the translation thought that they meant that there was only specific areas on the tongue that had specific uh, basic tastes and that's what they wrote in 1901 from the paper that was written in 1875 and it wasn't until an expert who was a researcher in 1974, almost a hundred years after the first uh, philosopher wrote his findings, uh, determined that this was incorrect, that we could taste, that we had tastes for, our, or um, receptors for all the tastes in all places in on our tongue. And the, the biggest challenge around this is, uh, what I want you to take away from this is, that you're, if you're concerned about being the expert because you don't know everything, if you're concerned about being an expert because you're afraid that people are going to find out that maybe something you say is wrong, and believe me, I say this from from experience, I hate being wrong. I hate being uh, seen as being incorrect or incompetent, I think is a better way of putting it. And so I work very hard to learn the things that I need to learn and experience and teach the things that I think other people need to know. Uh, but I want to be able to come across as an authority. And you do as well when you're an expert. The challenge is that there are so many things that we're learning over, mm -hmm. uh, over particularly now. I mean, it, we're accelerated learning part of our, our culture and our society. And there are just so many things that are coming up. And you are going to say things that aren't going to mesh with someone else's idea. Experts don't agree. They don't necessarily agree on on even some of the simplest concepts. Um, I mean, uh, you think of uh, a lot of the scientists, when you go back, experts don't agree on each other's understanding. Uh, the person who, who first came out with the term brain plasticity was considered um, uh, a fraud. In, and he was, he was not allowed to come to any of the conferences. The people who were in his industry didn't speak to him. And that just meant that it took longer 
for the experts who did understand that this was a possibility to come to the conclusion that the brain was plastic. And when we get to that point where we start accepting, you know, some of the things that we might think that are wrong may be right in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. So be the expert that you are. And remember, you don't need to be an expert at everything. You, uh, you need to focus on something. You are the expert at something that you have focused on because a person that focuses on no one thing is not an expert at anything. So focus on your expertise, be brilliant, be um, open to being wrong sometimes and go out there and, um, and apply your expertise, teach the people who need to be taught and prove your ideas and change the world. All right, have a fantastic Monday.